Hey YouTube, today I'm here to talk to you guys. Yep, how are you all doing? And I hope you all are having a great day. Anyway, today's video is about this. So, a lot of you know I like cars, right? Well, I've done some research on some cars lately, and so... If anybody's looking to buy a first-time car or something, I have a uh, I have a bunch of recommendations of some of the best cars that you can buy. Whether if it's a first-time car or if it's a car that you can just use for like yourself or just a little car you could use for your family or just anything really. So here we go. These are a couple of cars I recommend to to a lot of people and i'm and i'll tell you a bit about each and every one of them okay so the first car is the nissan versa note the reason i recommend this car is because let me explain why and it's one of my all-time favorites it's a standard car that comes in a lot of different colors and and in a hatchback body style the reason i recommend this car is because this would be a simple little car to get around town, maybe get you on a road trip, or maybe that kind of stuff. The Nissan Versa Note has Bluetooth capability, a steering wheel, air conditioning, and some cloth seats. So that is one of the many cars that I would recommend to people. The Nissan Versa Note. It's one of my personal favorites. And I like this car a lot. As you can see. Okay. On to the next car. The next car I recommend to people is. The Chevy Spark. Let's move on to that. Okay. The reason I recommend the Chevy Spark to people is because. It's a good car. And this could be useful. If you're a first time driver, I would definitely recommend this. Let me show you why. The price would be, see, as you can see, for example, let's say you were to get this Chevy Spark 1LT. It's green, but the Spark is a good car and it's a four door hatchback. It may not look like a four door to you at first, but if you look on the top um, the, of the handles, th that is a door handle on the top. But anyway, I recommend this car to people because it would be a great first time buy. It would be um, a great car if you needed to go to college or let's a uh, first time car. Like, let's say if you're going to college or something and you're looking for a decent car to get around in, then here you go. The Chevy Spark is for you. And... Let's move on to another car that I recommend to people. The Chevy Spark EV. Oh yes, you guys remember this car. So let me explain why I recommend the Spark EV. It's an electric car, gets you 85 miles on a charge. Like I said, this would be good for people who are going to college or just a commuter vehicle. An electric car just it's a cheap it's just a cheap car that you can buy and it's really cool i love the spark ev i highly recommend it to all electric vehicle lovers if you can't afford a tesla and you're looking for a cheap electric car the chevy spark ev might be for you the next car i would recommend this is um Another one of my personal favorites. And it's another and it's another electric car. Nissan Leaf. Get you about 60 miles on a charge. But or 65 miles. Hey, but let me tell you why I recommend the Leaf. The Leaf is a good commuter car as well. This is great for getting around town, gets you to the store, gets you on trips or get you to school, get your kids to school. And yeah, this is a good electric car, no gas, 
just like the Spark EV. I would highly recommend this car if you were a first time driver. Needed a car to get to work every day and back. Needed a car to get to a friend's house. And yeah, those are a couple of things that I love about the Nissan Leaf. It's because it's all electric. It doesn't require any gas. You don't do oil changes. And yeah, highly recommend a Leaf. Okay. Now, now let's move on. We have a couple more cars to go. The Prius C. Now, if you're looking for Prius and you don't want to spend a lot of money, C stands for city. This is a city car. You can use it on the highway too, but, but I just wanted to point it out there. Anyway, the Prius C is a smaller version of the Prius. It's an awesome little car. It, it's a lot like the Lexus CT200H, if you don't remember those videos. And yeah, the Prius C, it can be a good hybrid, can be good for road trips, can be good for getting you to the store, can get you to work. Just get you anywhere. Like, here's an example. You are going to spend the day at a friend's house. You need a car. Just get in a car and start it up. And then go to your friend's house. But but also, here, here here's another reason why I recommend this car to people. Because this car is an eco-friendly car. It's good for the environment. It's not all electric, but it can get you on road trips. It can get you to the store. It can get you to the movies. It can get you anywhere you want to go. So, yep. I really recommend this car. To people. If you are looking for a family hybrid. Then this is what I would go for. The Prius V. So this is like a Prius. But this is a station wagon. If you can afford it. Then you can go for it. It's $17,000. But anyway. I recommend this car to people. Because it's a hybrid. And it's a good eco-friendly car for if you have a family or if you're um, just needing a bigger car for yourself, like a station wagon. It has a lot of cargo space and it can um, get you around. It can get you on road trips. It can get you anywhere you want to go. This is one of the best cars I've seen. I've never been in one of these, but I would like to. It has a push button start and it has um and it has Bluetooth and it's a hybrid. You know, let me give you a fun fact about why I love cars. The reason I love cars is because um they're awesome and it they're just fun to ride in and it gives you an experience like like of like of different vehicles that people drive every day it's like yeah it's like a lot of people and i really love cars just as much as i love elevators i love cars too so comment below if you have a question about any cars well Well, we'll just leave it here for today. But anyway, that's all the cars I wanted to show you. And yeah, if you are looking for a car, like I said, for yourself, your family, even a car for work, a car for just anything, really, then these are just a couple of options that I would recommend to you. If you want to see more videos like this, comment below. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.